right guys, so I am here with Brock from Barnyard Garage. We are at Barnyard Garage. And today we're gonna set a slap, we're gonna slap a set of long tube headers on the old Silverado here. So we've got long tube headers, uh, we've got an X pipe, I've got new spark plug, spark plug wires and all that junk. And we're just gonna see what happens. I don't have everything to finish the exhaust out yet. So I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do on that one, but we're gonna get the truck lifted up. I'll show you guys the uh, the headers and then we're gonna take care of it. What do you think? I think it should be pretty solid when it's done. Awesome. I'm excited. Me too. All right, we're gonna dig into this. All right, we're getting the truck up. I did open the header box at home because I was excited to see them. Let me get one of these guys out. There we go, guys. Uh, speed engineering, one and three quarter inch headers. Or wait, yeah. Seven, no, I got three quarter. One and three quarter inch headers. Uh, they are stainless, they look nice. You guys won't be able to see it, but it does have like a nice merge collector inside of there. Uh, so these are gonna replace the log manifolds. And let me pop open these Y pipes so you can see it. So there are a bunch of bits in there in order to complete this. There are a couple of different pieces of pipe. There are a couple of different pieces of pipe to get from here up to the uh, the other collector, depending on your transmission and whatnot. But this is adding a nice X pipe on there, uh, so we should gain some horses out of all of this. And hopefully, it sounds better. But I'm going to try to actually help with this instead of standing around. So, yeah, let's get to this. I'm excited. Well, we're still a little crusty under here, guys. I need to get get the rest of this mud out. But there's our current exhaust situation. It's kind of crusty, uh, and the reason for this whole thing was I had a turn down on here, and that finally rusted and fell out. And this is all looking pretty crusty. So I figured after a couple hundred thousand miles, we might as well replace them. Nope. How leaky is it? Uh, we should get a gasket for that oil cooler block off while we're in here too. Okay. Because that's leaking. Oh, I, I think I see what you're talking about. Yeah, it's a little crusty under here. And then, yeah, my trans cooler lines are also leaking a little bit, but other than that, it's not looking too bad. coming out better than I thought they would. The uh, trick is doing it when it's still hot. You'll burn yourself a little bit, but... The trick is also to not say doing better than I thought they would until it's actually out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I won't jinx it. <laughs> All right, we've got the bottom bolts off, or Brock got the bottom bolts off, and we took the wheels off so we get the truck a lot lower so it's easier to work on. But it's a good time to rotate my tires also because it's been a while. Uh, we're gonna replace these because I have, these are stock. Hopefully the other ones, I think they're a little bit longer, but they should fit all right. But uh, plug wires and everything. We're gonna hope that since this thing was apart a couple of years ago, all of these bolts come out nicely. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it guys, but the truck does have a DOD delete. So factory, these trucks come um, with displacement on demand and it'll go from eight cylinders down to four cylinders as you're cruising along or whatever. That is a like the number one failure point for these engines uh, and mine failed. So we removed all that stuff. Uh, and when they do that, they have to take the heads off and everything. Uh, and that's when the cam was also put in. I don't remember the specs off the top of my head, but it's a Texas Speed Stage 3 cam. I'll put the specs up on the screen so you guys can see that. Uh, but that may help us today since the motor was apart. Uh, although that's probably been like four or five, 
probably five years ago at this point. Oh, better than 15 years ago. Yeah, I mean, the truck <laughs> is an 09, so it's almost 15 years old. It's hot under here. I imagine. I figured you'd give it time to cool off. Well, breaking these loose is pretty important when it's still hot, so. Otherwise, I would, but when it's hot, there's, like, the chances of them breaking are way less. So I do it with it as hot as I possibly can handle. Mm. Wear the gloves and see how it goes. That's not something I would have done, so. <sighs> Drilling the holes out is worse. Yeah, I really don't want to have to have it come to this. Or else I'll get in there with a welder, too. Normally I do that instead. Uh, let's see, we also have an air raid smooth intake tube on here, and there's a K&N filter in here, but that's pretty basic stuff. So Brock's killing the game. This header's already loose. Probably hard for you guys to see that. Uh, but it's dangling off. It's going pretty quick. What do you think, Pop? Mirror? Right down in there. I don't know if that lighting works. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, Maybe. right there. The dipstick tube. They always rust into the motor. They don't come out. This one's this one's coming out, so we'll hope. We'll hope it comes the rest of the way. So the disc dip dipstick tube runs through the manifold, so you have to yes. pull the tube out. Which is something I didn't know, so dog get in the way? Yeah, I almost <laughs> fell backwards over him. Yeah, he's good at that. Got it. That's relieving. It's yeah. only slightly crusty. Yeah. Not too bad, actually. Might be a good one to replace, because look right here. It's cracking. Oh, shit. See, this is where they break off at, and then you have no leverage to pull them out. And then you try to get on them here with something to knock them out of there. And they break off there. Just rips it apart. This one's not that rusty, so it's not that bad. But I'd say like four or five out of ten. Mm. I'll do it. Yeah, neat. And the rest of those bolts will come out really easy here. These are already pre-broken loose. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I broke them loose from the top. I try not to... Uh, I try never to break anything loose with the impact on these because it almost, as far as these bolts go in the head, they'll break off if you do sometimes. I'm going to do them the old fashioned way. Pull this other fender liner out and we got to pull the flare off too. side inside of the fenders don't look terrible need to trim all this up you can see where the tires been rubbing right there but it's it's a mod to just cut this off and kind of bend it back and that's all I need to do all right so this is the passenger side it's all off and uh, the plugs have been taken out rocks kind of cleaning up the head there so we get a good gasket seal all right just for reference guys of what we're doing here so there's the factory driver side exhaust manifold right pup and then that's what we're putting on so obviously we're gonna get much better flow uh, all equal length ish probably as opposed to a log style manifold like this you can see a little bit easier that way Oh yeah, that went in just fine. Well, next pipe is in. Nice, nice. 
I want to do that gasket before we put this side header in. Okay. Let me see if, how this side header fits. Where's that? That's the driver's side. Yeah, that one's still in there. Put these plugs in. Actually, no. Oh, the headers in. These are new header bolts. Okay. You want to unwrap those? Here, I've got a razor blade. I'll unwrap this, I'll get the bolts open. I'll take the whole thing. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I got, you got it. it. Yep. Just toss them around. Glove, you got that? Mm -hmm. Can you hold it up there? Yep. Okay. Okay, I got it. Oh, ARP bolts, huh? Yeah, super fancy. I bought the cheapest headers that you could possibly get, and then I got ARP hardware to go with it. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -mm. So ARP bolts for anyone. You want me to show you something on them? Anytime you do ARP bolts, it's really hard to tell, but there's a little chamfer on them. Oh, I see it. Whereas there's not on that side. Chamfer side always goes to the bottom of the head. Yeah. I learned something. Yep. Well, I learned a lot actually on this, but. Now, is it probably ever going to matter on this type of bolt? No. Most but places like head don't even studs use, and... give, Yes. When it comes to something where like clamping force can really ruin your day. This one I put on backwards. When it can really ruin your day, you gotta pay attention to that. Otherwise, not the worst thing. I haven't been doing too much mechanical work just for for friends and for a couple people here and there. Knocking out tunes though every yes. every week, huh? Yeah, if you guys need something tuned, Brock's big business, what he does is remote tuning. Most of it's remote tuning, correct? Yeah, I do a lot of remote tuning, a lot of in-house tuning. He does have a dyno back there. What? One thing, that most of my day I spend looking for the right size socket. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever my 3 These take a... 12 point. Yeah, the bolts, I guess you guys can't really see it, but it's 12 point head, 12 point head on there. That looks good. It's going to be, it's going to be rowdy. All right, guys, we went on a short parts run, uh, grabbed a gasket for, what is this? Oil cooler block off. Oil cooler block off, because that was leaking. And we also picked up a new dipstick tube. Uh, cause the other one had a little bit of rust on there, but so far that header is on the passenger side. Let's see. We've got the X pipe in there. We're going to get ready to do the other one, slap the plugs in. We just went and had some Arby's. They had the meats there and, uh, Kyle showed up. You guys remember Kyle from the, uh, camping video, the last, well, not the last one. This one comes out today. The all dogs off road group camp. So, well, and he's the one that did 90% of the work on the springs back yeah. there that you guys can see. Uh, so, yeah, we're just working away. I still need to extend those lines back here. They're tight. But other than that, I need to also put some oil on them. Yeah, that seemed to be holding up all right. Yeah, it's fine. I yeah. Looked, but now yeah. it's good to go. No, it's good to go. Where are we? Ben welded that, guys. And then we reinforced it, so. Yeah. All right, we gotta keep working on this. Cool. Come on. So what does that do, actually? It's a, it's a block off. Does, so cause this doesn't normally have it's got cooler lines, so you've got one out into the cooler, comes back through the other hole. This just lets it bypass the, from Since one hole Since I don't the have other. the auxiliary oil yes. cooler. Yeah. So instead of making a whole different oil pan, GM just made it so that they could run the same one for both. Yeah. It makes it easy to add on an oil cooler too. 
is all you have to do is swap out the gaskets and it's ready to go. Makes sense. Driver's side is almost in. I think it's up there. It's up there enough. We should be able to get it in, huh? No, it's not. Somehow it'll find its way back out. <laughs> we had to disconnect the front drive shaft here, guys. It's a little tight. Alright. Old plugs were looking a little crusty, y'all. It's not gonna focus. Still not gonna focus. Got new plugs in over here. I'm just kinda doing them finger tight. All right, these plugs are finger tight. Clears. All right, clears. Not by a lot, but it clears. So we've got the, the long tube on there and the X pipe and everything kind of bolted together and didn't even think about it. But since we have the lift, these drop brackets to drop the front drift down also changes the angle of your front drive shaft. So it's very, very close. Uh, right now it's not touching. Yeah, once it jiggled a little bit, it started touching. We might need to uh, do a little pounding on this side. But Massaging. We'll see. Yeah. I had to do this on that Corvette over there the other day, too. You would think that would work on the vet. You would think that a header for a Corvette would fit a Corvette. And so you can see how much it's been dropped. We've this is all aftermarket. County she goes. Sorry if I'm blinding you with my headlight. I can't see in the dark very well anymore. So I really... Gotta eat your carrots. Yeah. Here goes nothing. All right. Headers are on. X pipe is on. Uh, we clearanced it a little bit and it fits. It's not rubbing. We've also got the spark plug wires on there, new spark plugs in it. We need to put the dipstick tube back in and get the fender flares and stuff back on, but it's not looking too shabby. We've, we're going around making sure none of this stuff is touching anything. If so, we'll zip tie it out of the way. Yeah, we're getting there, guys. It's going to be really loud. Uh, I've made it a kind of made a tentative appointment to get the exhaust done, but it's gonna be like, or to get the exhaust finished all the way back, but it's gonna be like two weeks, so it's just gonna be really fucking loud for a while. All right, we're kind of giving it a last once over. We still have to put the fender liners and tires and all that stuff back on, and the braces for the we're, lift. We're impatient. But we gotta make sure it starts and runs, and you know, yes. so we have access to all this in case we need to do some adjusting. So Brock's gonna, start it and we'll give you guys my reaction because it's going to be very very loud right now i just want to hear the chop though headlight out oh! that is definitely loud oh my god Stuff burning off the exhaust. That is. 
this chopping. Scared his dog so much, the dog puked. Man. Got a headlight out. button this up uh, like I said we don't have we're not gonna be able to finish the exhaust right now so it's just gonna be very loud for a while but uh, that sounds great I need to replace a headlight I guess uh, yeah that's that's awesome guys all right let's get this finished up quick <laughs> This is louder than mine, but we've got this all buttoned up. The wheels and everything are back on it. I rotated my tires since it's been a while. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out and we're gonna shuffle some cars in. What? We're gonna move cars around? Yeah. All right, I'll pull this one out. Let me get this thing out of here. Yeah, we wanna pull this outside. Yeah. Chopping, both of them chopping. All right, guys, so we've got it finished up. We pulled it out, uh, did a little bit with the laptop, checked the tune over and whatnot. And then Brock had an extra set of mufflers laying around. We might slip those on and see what they sound like. 
just for the time being because it's going to be a couple weeks before I can get the truck in. But yeah, I'll leave links to Brock's. I'll leave links to uh, Barnyard Garage down below. So if you guys want to support the shop, you can do that. Does remote tuning? I guess you can tell them what you do. Yep, uh, remote tuning, dyno tuning, all sorts of stuff. And I, I do, uh, I go to people and tune once in a while too. So just depends. Sometimes I road trip. Do you have a really cool project? Yes. So, uh, yeah, we got to get the exhaust finished up, and then I'll be back in to help Brock put some more solar panels on the Escalade. And I'll leave a link to the video of us building the bed for the Escalade down below also if you want to check that out. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to close it out here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm super stoked on the exhaust, and the chop is me. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds really good. Stay tuned for the next adventure, guys. I'll see you in a bit.